Hi, I've decided to make a video for your class, and in this video, I will remind you how to get to the library's homepage from the campus homepage, how to find our resources, and how to search a database using a simple keyword search, and then limit your results by date, and also by the type of article, so scholarly, newspaper, or magazine article. So let's get started. I am on the college's homepage. I'm going to click Quick Links and then go to Library and Chat. If you forget about everything that we're doing right now, except that it, you can get to the library's homepage and click on the link to our chat widget, I will be very happy because there will be someone able to help you until 10 o'clock at night most nights. So here we are on the library's homepage. We're going to be working in our research databases today, and so you can click straight on the research databases link and look at our alphabetical list. But because of um, your class, I've created a research guide, um, which is a web page all about doing research related to gender roles, which is the topics that you're researching for your class. So I recommend that you go here, and the link is up here, and I've also shared it with your professor. Um, you'll also see the link to the chat widget on every page. So if I go to the Find Articles tab, what I'm going to see is a list of databases that we recommend students use when doing research on gender roles. So the one I'm going to use first is called Academic Search Complete. And it is the super Walmart of databases. It has a little bit of everything, a little bit of every discipline, a little bit of every type of article. So um, one of the things that's been interesting to me is something that's been in the news recently, which is talking about gender and also toys. So I could just do a simple search like this, gender and toys. And I'm gonna get 1600 results. If we take a moment to look at my search terms that I used, you can see I did something interesting here, which is I have AND in between the two terms, and the AND is in caps. This is because in this place, AND is serving as a computer command. It's telling the search engine inside my database to bring back any results that talk about gender and toys. When you use Google, Google automatically ANDs all of your results. Um, but that's a little bit different than what happens in one of the research databases. Okay, so we're looking at our results right now. Like I said, we have, you know, 1600 results, and there's some ways that you're going to want to limit your results. The first is you want to limit to full text, because you only want to know about things that you can read. The next is you can limit by type of publication. So if you need a um, magazine or newspaper article, you can use these um, little boxes here. And so when you do that, you'll get a really good idea about the kind of information that's included in each type of publication, right? So here's something in the Christian, Christian Science Monitor. Um, this is the abstract or the summary of the article. And when you click on the full text, you can get a sense of the kind of articles that happen in newspapers. They're generally shorter. Um, they're written for just everyday person. Um, they'll give you some information about the topic and generally sort something that's related to something happening to a specific person, right? Um, if we go back to our um, big result list, and take off the limit of newspapers, I can then limit to magazine articles. Magazine articles are also written just for the general population. So for example, this first one here is in Time Magazine, um, Driving Diversity. If I click on the full text, it's gonna show me an article. This is just like a little part, little, a little blurb in an article. Let's go back and look at a different article. So for me, that wouldn't really help for this situation because I need more information than that. Here's something what the toy aisle can teach us about gender parity, um, also from Time Magazine. And when I look here, I can see it's a two-page article, right? Here's something in New Scientist, also a two-page article. Um, but let's go into the gender parity so you can get an idea. Okay. 
right? So you can see it's longer than the newspaper article, still written just for average person to give you some um, information about this topic. And the last kind of article that you're going to be looking at um, for your class today, and let me take this off, this limiter off, is a scholarly um, or a peer-reviewed article. And this is an article that's written for by researchers for researchers. And you can see here, like this article is 19 pages, right? Um, you can see that. Um, it's talking, the, the abstract is giving you a lot of information. And in this one, for example, it's talking about a research study that was done um, that's trying to see a, a house children who are four to five years old choose their toys. So if this looked interesting to you, um, you can click straight onto the full text. And then you have the article right here. If you wanted to use the article for class, you've got a lot of choices. You can download it, you can print it, you can send it to your Google Drive, um, you can email it to yourself. And then the something that I think you guys are really going to like is if you click this right here, it's going to give you the citation and a bunch of different citation styles. And if you scroll down, you'll get to MLA and it's mostly correct. You'll just need to fix it a little bit. So that will help you out. Um, sometimes it can be hard to find articles on your topic, and so there's a few things you can do. The first thing is you have to consider the resource that you're using to search for your article. So which database are you using? Is it the right one for the information you're looking for? The other thing is you can look at your search terms. Um, so they could be too broad or too narrow. So, you know, these terms seem like they're working for me for gender and toys. And if I click on the record for one of the articles, I can kind of scroll down and see which subject terms have been applied to the article. So it looks to me like gender is a really good um, term to use. And so is toys because um, these are tags that are given to every article in this database that talks about gender or every article that talks about toys. And so if I was having a hard time finding research, all I would need to do is click on one of those terms and it would launch a whole new search, right? Um, let's say that I wanted to find information, you know, to search for articles about the pay gap um, between men and women. So I could do another search that looked like this. Right, and what I've done here that's different is I've put quotes around pay gap because it's really important that those two words show up next to each other. So this search has told the search engine in the database, bring, please bring me back any articles that talk about gender and talk about pay gap. So let me do that, conduct that search just to show you. Right, and just like before, we're limiting to full text. It left the limit on for peer reviewed, so we want to take that off because right now we're just looking for all different kinds of articles. Um, and then you might want to limit your publication date. So your professor wants you to use articles that are no more than 10 years old, and that's easy to do. You can just slide this over. Right. And so then we've got, you know, 328 results. And you can keep limiting, you know, you can limit by geography to make sure you're only getting things that take place in the United States, different things like that. But you can see like maybe after you do that limiting, this, this database might not have enough information for you. And that's okay because this is just one database among many. So if we go back to that find articles um, tab, you can see there's other things, other databases recommended. We have a whole database just on gender. Um, it's a ProQuest interface. So I think it'll probably be similar, I mean, familiar to you guys, right? And you could do the same kind of search in here, right? Gender and toys, you know, limit to full text. And then you can limit to scholarly journals, newspapers, magazines, etc. Um, you can do that same kind of gender and pay gap.
And um, you can see in this database, we get a lot more results than we did in the other database because this one specializes just in gender. So I hope that helped you out. And if you get stuck, please remember to click on the chat with a librarian link and we'll help you right away. Good luck with your assignment.